Hey everyone, it's that time of the month where we go back in time two years and revisit my monthly favorites from two months ago. So April of 2018 looked a lot different than April 2020. I'm generally a very positive, upbeat person, but uh, last couple of days just feeling a little unsettled, I guess as we're getting closer to the end of what would have been a school year and I'm thinking about all the things that would have been getting a little, I don't know, just a little, you know? April of 2020, I was supposed to have been gone almost half the month between going to Dallas for the Reward Style Conference and then spending 10 days in Oxford, Mississippi for Jake and Shane's Fraternity's Parents Weekend. And then the following three-day weekend was um, the Ole Miss Family Leadership Council meeting. Well, it was supposed to be, so it didn't make sense for us to go back and forth two weekends. So we were just gonna stay put and it was gonna be Double Decker Festival and who cares what would have been, right? So. Let's go back April 2018 to a happier time when travel was possible. And we're gonna time travel and I have printed out the description box so I can look back and see what I had and we're just gonna fly through it. I've tried to approximate hair, makeup, and all that stuff, wearing everything if I still have it. And if I don't, we'll talk about why. All right, so the first thing I mentioned was the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt palette, which I still love. And honestly, selfishly, I make these videos for myself because I get to revisit things I've forgotten about. Like this was at the bottom of a drawer and I pulled it back out and forgot how great it is. It is a, comes in two shades. This is the light, there's a darker one. And it has, there we go, a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. The bronzer has been dropped and I smooshed it back together with um, rubbing alcohol when you could still get that in the drugstores. It's a fabulous, soft, beautiful bronzer. If you like the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer, you'll like this one too. It has a very similar finish, buttery and smooth. The blush, as you can see, doesn't have to be bright pink. The highlighter I'm wearing now, it's, it's a little icy. If I could, ideally, I would love it if Flower Beauty sold these in individual shades and you could pop in the exact color combo that you wanted. I wish this one was a little more muted gold, but you can't have everything and it's beautiful. It's super soft not very travel friendly because it's so soft it will crumble another favorite from then and now and i checked the walmart website and all all of the palettes i'm about to show you are still available on the website so whether the rumors are true that these are phasing out i don't know but they are still available at walmart first was most love mattes all from milani what i'm about to show you does this look like a drugstore palette i say it does not i am particularly fond of the row of neutrals but there's a row of more pink toned and then a very warm neutral range fabulous great mattes and then the other favorite and what i am wearing today i'm trying to approximate exactly what i had on back then is the bold obsessions palette probably my favorite of all the palettes just because there's so many options today i am wearing this column basically um, with a little bit of this top the one that's in the top of this column or the bottom as you're looking at it a little bit of that um, tan shade in my crease as well. So many options, such a versatile palette. Another favorite that I need to add, it's my second favorite, it's their Soft and Sultry palette and probably the one I reach for the most. A little more cool toned overall, but beautiful and buttery and creamy. And why Milani abandoned this formula for their new palettes is beyond me. Whoever decided on that change should be flogged. And then I do have to admit, I never reach for this, but if you like pinks and reds, the Pure Passions palette, it's gorgeous. It's just not my favorite color palette on me, but these shades are creamy, buttery, shimmery, just beautiful. All right, enough about those. Still a favorite, clearly I could go on and on and on. Next, for my favorites of 2018, Still favorites, the L'Oreal Colory Shine Lipsticks. It's funny, I mentioned Polished Tango and Burnished Rose. I had all the shades I decluttered and now I'm seriously regretting that. I'm starting to seriously regret all decluttering as I'm in my house a lot more and you can't just run out to the store and get whatever you want. I'm starting to think hoarding might not be such a horrible thing, is it? I don't know, because now I wish I had all of them. Uh, the ones I could find that I, that I have are, um, Burnished blush, which is what I think I meant to say instead of burnished rose. Let me give you some swatches. And you can see the shine and how beautiful they are. I do know that L'Oreal has released some newer ones in this range. I haven't picked them up yet. 
I need to order some because I love them. But what I do want to show you, and full disclosure, I am under contract to start working with L'Oreal on some videos on this range. Haven't done it yet, but I do have the products because that was part of the stipulation is they send me the products first. I got to play with them and decide if I like them. They do have some new lipsticks in their Age Perfect line that just was released. And I really like these because they remind me so much in texture and shine of these Color Riche, but they last a little bit longer. This is the Age Perfect Luminous Pink. And as you can see, there's like a little moisture tube in the middle, and then you have the, the color around it. And I think that gives it that luminescence, not luminescence, that shine that's very similar. When you put it on your lips, that blends together. Here's these two is beautiful rosewood and luminous pink, and you can see how they shine. And then they have another line from that same lipstick line, and these are, honestly, I can't tell you what the name is. It's different, it'll be in the description box. The tubes I just showed you are all white, and then these have a gold ombre, and the one I really wanna show you is, look at this glowing nude one. These are solid, and again, this isn't sponsored. I'm just playing with these, and I want you to see them. If I am doing a sponsored video with them, I will be very upfront about that in the first 30 seconds. I will just say flat out, this is sponsored. Those are the two I just swatched. So not as shiny, but they feel very similar on the lips. So just wanna let you know about that. Let me get this all off before I ruin this. All right, let's get back to the original favorites from 2018. Next was this lip gloss, which I'm embarrassed to say I still have. It's the Ciate London Liquid Chrome Gloss in the shade Luna. It's beautiful and it smells okay. I guess I could probably still wear it. Should I? I don't know. It's a kind of a duochrome. See that pink shift? And then, woo, copper. Pink, copper, pink. It's gorgeous. Love it. Smells divine. And then, on the extreme opposite price range of the L'Oreal lipsticks is this guy. I still have this too, and I don't care. I'm using this to the last drop because it was $50 for this little guy. It's from Sicily Paris, and it is their Fido Lip Twist in number two baby. And it's so nice. Why have I, I don't know why I haven't finished this up yet. There it is. There's a lot of other shades, but it's really similar in texture to the color shines from L'Oreal. A little bit more pigmented, stays on a lot longer and five, six times the price. So there's that. More favorites that I, I have some. All from Capari. This is when I was introduced to the Capari line. It's the Capari Lip Glossy, which I do still have. This one is, I think, cherry flavored. I have, this is my, I don't know, second or third tube of it, and I keep this on my desk as I'm working. I just top off every once in a while. It's a very nice moisturizing lip balm gloss because it definitely has serious moisturizing properties, but it's super glossy. And then the two I don't have is the Capari Coconut Rose Cleansing Oil, which I loved as a first cleanse. I think if memory serves, that was the first time I'd ever tried a cleansing oil. Loved it. I repurchased it and then of course moved on to other things. My second step in washing my face, this has not changed in, I don't know, five years, is always the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm. Well, always use that, have used that every night, forever. I have tried some other cleansing oils. There's one that I order from Amazon that Dr. Dre recommended. I can't remember the name of it and it's in Japanese. So I would ruin that. I'll put that in the description box. Another one that was recommended that failed horribly for me, I have to share, was this DHC deep cleansing oil. I so wanted this to work. One, because it's readily available, not just on Amazon, but like in your targets, if you could get into a target. It broke me out horribly. I have no idea why. I've also used the Paula's Choice one, that was okay. I've used the Dermalogica one, that's probably one of my favorites. Pretty pricey, but it's fabulous. Also, um, the last Capari product that was a favorite from 2018 was the Coconut Rose Toner, which is more of like a face mist, really, and it was beautiful. But as far as toners go, and I forgot to bring it out, it's the Colleen Rothschild Micro Mineral Soothing Toner. It's incredible. If you have sensitive skin, if you have reactive skin, you must give this a try. It is it is amazing what it can do for your skin as far as how it doesn't react to products like Retin-A. Just saying, it's amazing. Then another favorite, still a favorite. I just keep getting the little travel size bottles because I seem to reach for this more when I travel. It's the Aveda Control Force Firm Hold Hairspray. And what is great about this, if you if the idea of firm hold scares you, it's anti-humidity, anti-frizz. So if you are if you live somewhere or you're going somewhere that has high humidity and rain, 
this is your friend, it can rain on you and your hair will hold. Another favorite from 2018 was this bad boy. This is the T3, I don't know what it's actually called. It's You buy the base, you can buy the base separately, and then I went and purchased the one and a quarter inch barrel. I believe I bought it during the Sephora sale back then. And see, it comes right off like that. And uh, you can change it out for other heads, wands, what have you. So I recently purchased the Beach Waver and I styled my hair with it. And to be fair, this is, I need to wash my hair. So it wasn't gonna hold. But if I had to do it all over again, I like the ease of the Beach Waver, but I like this better. And it is a better, better price point at the end of the day. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it during the Sephora sale, if I'm gonna wait for the anniversary sale and see what comes up in July. I wanna get the one inch version of the clamp because I just feel like at the end of the day, this is not as easy to use, but the curls last longer and I can do more with it. It's just a little more versatile than just clamping it from the bottom and spinning it up. Please share below, which do you like better? If you have them both, beach waver or traditional clamp? Let me know. Moving on to things we can't buy anymore, but I still love and I'm still gonna wear them. The Bobble Bar pineapple earrings. We all loved these, all of us, so much. Bobble Bar. They don't watch me anymore. Bring it back. I love this. I've looked all over the internet. I cannot find anything like it. Some people are selling this in their Poshmark closet. So if you can find it on Poshmark, grab it there. But it's just so fun and cute and pineapples symbol welcome. And actually maybe I shouldn't wear this. Nobody's invited over. Moving on to the Rebecca Minkoff Reagan satchel. I liked it. Can't get it anymore. Uh, they stopped making this style, I believe. It's a nice satchel. I do prefer, this is gonna sound terrible, my Balenciaga Velo, I think, that is very similar in style. In fact, I think I know where Rebecca Minkoff got the inspiration for this one, but obviously a different price point. Um, one that I like very much, it's a little bit bigger, um, they are always having sales, is the Grace Satchel. I don't know if this exact color is still available, but it's the Grace Satchel from Gigi New York. And um, all of these come with these little thin crossbody straps, which leads me to my next favorite, which again is not available. Hang on. This was the first guitar strap that I bought for the Reagan satchel. This was actually one from Rebecca Minkoff and it's heavy and it's thick. It's real, it's, it's, I mean, it's very thick and very heavy, but it's wide and flat. So when you stuff too much in your purse, the pressure is spread across the width of this instead of a skinny strap, much more comfortable on the shoulders. But then I discovered, hang on, fell on the floor, social threads and their straps and they're so much thinner and they're adjustable and they're a little more fun. I love them. I also like the Erin Condren, um, the planner totes and Mimi is eating something on the floor behind me. I love that when these are still available, they come in a ton of different colors. They do have a leather option that's vegan. So that's nice and way more affordable. I think this was close to $100, so ouch. What I'm wearing was a favorite and the tank is still available. These are both from Chico's. It's a tank top and a matching cardigan. I love, it's cotton, so it's perfect weight for now. Like I said, the tank top is still available and it's a wider, more like a muscle tank, which I appreciate and the armholes, which you cannot really see, but they come up a little higher so you don't have to worry about bra showing. And I really hope Chico's brings this exact cardigan back out in all the colors because they're fabulous and they wash well and they hold up really, really, really well. You can find similar tank tops in other brands like Caslon makes them, Madewell makes them, but the matching cardigan, it's sort of like a modern twin set. I really, I really like it. And then the last favorite from 2018 were the Chico's floral pants. I still have them. Chico's does not get enough love. Those pants, when we get back to wearing normal clothes again, I think people would really appreciate those pants. They fit a variety of people. It has a hidden sort of closure to them. So there's no buttons and things like that that make it uncomfortable. It's like wearing an elevated, legging pant and they have solids and they have patterns and they don't wrinkle and they're travel friendly. And if you don't like shorts, they have different lengths. I'm telling you, just go look at the Chico's pants options. I think those of you who have delegated Chico's to, uh, let's just politely say more mature women uh, category, take another look. 
you'd be surprised. And then, I'm sorry, there was one more favorite. The business cards that I love and own from Moo Cards. I have, for just Moo, I think it is. I just keep reordering them. I really need to update the picture though, because I don't really look like that anymore. I mean, generally, but not so much. They have pre-made ones where you can just put in your info. The one you're seeing, I actually designed on my own on um, Microsoft Publisher, and then um, using their, their measurements, and then uploaded that image onto um, Moo. What I like about them, their business cards are thicker than standard business cards. The paper quality is fabulous. They have the metallic option, which for me, gold girl is, you know, ideal. And uh, the shipping is incredibly fast. And they have matching letterheads and all kinds of things you can order to go along with your business cards. So I like them. Alrighty, that is it. Those are the favorites from 2018. Most many still around not going to try really hard not to dwell on what isn't happening right now and look ahead and hopeful as i hope all of you are we need to be hopeful and we need to keep our spirits up but it is okay to have a day or two where you're just not feeling it because that is normal too as always thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me today i hope you are all staying well staying safe and uh, thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye